Third Congress reconvenes with Vice President Nixon swearing in two new senators, Ohio's Burke at left, who succeeds the late Robert Taft, and New Hampshire's Upton, Senator Tobey's successor. In the House of Representatives, Speaker Martin calls the crucial second session to order. Four new members, three Democrats and a Republican, are sworn in, cutting the GOP control to two votes. The next day, representatives and senators meet in joint session to hear President Eisenhower deliver his State of the Union message, a dramatic address in which the President is to lay down a broad charter for a stronger America. All branches of this government, and I venture to say both of our great parties, can support the general objective of the recommendations I make today. For that objective is the building of a stronger America. A government can try, as ours tried, to sense the deepest aspirations of the people and to express them in political action at home and abroad. So long as action and aspiration, humbly and earnestly, seek favor in the sight of the Almighty, there is no end to America's forward road. There is no obstacle on it. She will not sermon in her march toward a land.